We do still have those clouds holding on, uh, lots of fog, very low visibility, and just simply put, as my 10-year-old would say, it's just yucky outdoors today, <laughs> but tomorrow things will be on the brighter side. We do still have this last line of showers to get through. Now, we've called it between that 10 and 11 o'clock hour. Satellite and radar does show this line moving through, bringing it in right now. We do show some of those showers not just moving across uh, Brooklyn there, but we're also going to see them across uh, portions of our south uh, shore facing beaches there. So Nassau and Suffolk County. But even bigger than that, those uh, thunderstorms and heavier downpours that we were expecting to uh, form uh, south of the city. It's happening right now across uh, portions of Monmouth County. Uh, no uh, indication of any thunder strikes there. But again, we do see some of those heavier downpours happening just uh, north of uh, East Freehold, uh, West Long Beach there through Highland. Now we are expecting that these showers will continue at least through uh, that midnight hour, possibly temperatures. However, in the 30s uh, for the Hudson Valley, we'll see a 40s across our boroughs. Also, uh, portions of North and Central Jersey still holding in the low to mid 40s tonight. Not much happening or changing thereof. We will hold on to those clouds. The possibility of some of those sprinkles and drizzle continuing across our boroughs, taking it out west to uh, Jersey here. We have 38 and Mount Olive Edison coming in at 42 Old Bridge, Jackson, Neptune City at 44 and 45. Even cooler up north there. We saw Liberty jump up to about 33 degrees, still holding on to those clouds. We'll see cold spring with still some of that fog and lots of fog hanging around the island as well. However, temperatures still in the low to mid 40s. We also have that coastal flood advisory. It is in effect right now. It does go through the 4 a.m. hour. It is for Nassau County, and this is because of that high tide cycle. So we could possibly see some of that inundation happening in those low lying areas wanting to watch for that. We'll be watching for nothing but sunshine tomorrow, putting away those umbrellas and raincoats, welcoming sunshine, mostly sunny throughout uh, most of our day there. We will possibly start again with some of that fog, but again, temperatures still above normal. We may even see portions of Jersey get really close to that 70 mark. I'll be keeping my eyes on it tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to end our weekend beautifully, but we roll into the start of our week and we have more rain showers that will arrive and we're talking in the second half of the day on Monday. Those showers likely to linger into portions of Tuesday, but by Wednesday we're expecting to dry back out. However, we won't see complete sunshine. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds throughout today. Thursday looks pretty good. Temperatures are expected to be quite seasonable through the next several days and we will also be welcome another chance of showers, not just Monday and Tuesday, but also to end our work week and rolling into the first half of our weekend. So, Katie, I'm going to say let's just enjoy what tomorrow has to offer.